Cuyahoga County Community Development Committee meeting is now called to order. Ashley, would you please call the roll? Calling the roll, Mr. Jones. Here. Mr. Brady. Here. Mr. Hauser. Here. Ms. Simon. Ms. Simon is absent at the moment. Mr. Gallagher. Here. We have a quorum. Excellent. Uh, Ashley, has anyone signed in for public comment related to the agenda? No, no one has signed in. No. My colleagues, if I might have an approval of minutes from our March 5th, 2018 meeting. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. Ayes have it. Our minutes are approved. And Ashley, if you would begin by reading our, our one resolution into the record. Resolution number 2018-0067, amending resolution number 2016-0218, dated 12 13 2016 which authorized an economic development fund redevelopment and modernization loan to Detroit Sherwake Community Development Organization for the benefit of a project located at 11801-11825 Lorraine Avenue in the city of Cleveland by extending the resolution sunset. Excellent. Well, we only have one item today, so it looks like we'll have a short meeting. And if it appears Khalil, you're coming to speak to this matter. Khalil Sarin, uh, County Council staff. I, uh, so this, this resolution is intended to obviously to extend the time period uh, that we have allowed um, the loan, this particular loan to close. Um, the sunset language that we began placing in resolutions was intended to make sure that when a project uh, is no longer viable, and will not proceed that there's some mechanism to just pull it back automatically. In this case, the project is still viable and the developers are still active. Uh, there were some unforeseen circumstances around the new markets tax credits that uh, extended the time period during which this, this process is, uh, is uh, being undertaken. Um, and so what this intends to do is to um, allow for an extended period of time to extend that sunset language so that the project can continue and uh, go to completion. And if you have any questions, I, I'm here. Um, and Jeff Ramsey from Detroit Shoreway is also here in case you have any questions about it. Any specifics on the unforeseen circumstances around the new market tax credits? So the new markets tax credits, the, the, the plan was to use new markets tax credits to uh, finance, we at least partially finance this project and the new markets tax credits did not come through. And so what has taken place since is finding other financing to move the project forward and do some value engineering on the project so that it can continue. Uh, unfortunately, the amount of time that it took to achieve those goals uh, extended us past the, the sunset period. Uh, were those other funding sources secured? I believe they are at this point. Uh, Jeff Ramsey can speak to that uh, a little bit more. Any, any questions from the committee? Um, Khalil. Oh, oh I, I'll be, just an, another answer to that question. The, the other financing, um, those commitment letters uh, are required for the closing of this loan as well. Um, so I, I think as we're moving forward to closing, which should happen um, this year, certainly, um, those those other sources of financing need to be uh, committed to. So, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Mr. President, uh, I know that uh, uh, my colleagues uh, who have been here are familiar with this project. Uh, I know the new member uh, probably is not. Um, we had um, um, this project is a is a is a restoration of the 1920s Variety Theater on Lorraine Avenue. A lot more to it than that, but that's the that's at the center of it, and the hope that that will help, you know, of course, revitalize the commercial strip as well. Um, but um, I would like to just request that Mr. Ramsey be able to come forward and just uh, in, the, in a, an abbreviated version um, um, tell us about where the project's at. And, uh, sure. Thank you, Council President, to uh, Mr. Chairman of the committee. Um, so this is a, a the Variety Theater is a beautiful beautiful theater, built in 1926, uh, originally sat 2,600 people. The concept for the theater is to turn uh, the main auditorium into a restaurant and bar space. Uh, and the building also has 10 retail storefronts and 11 apartments on the second floor. 
so rehabilitating the storefronts as well as the housing. A really important piece of the variety is the job creation. Uh, that's the reason uh, that we are working with Westtown Community Development Corporation and, uh, to help revitalize this building. 100 jobs approximately from this project will be created. And a, a, a key component of that are the job training programs. We uh, are working with the Cuyahoga County Department of Developmentally Disabled through the SAW program to provide uh, training and employment opportunities uh, with Lutheran Metropolitan Ministries uh, for their reentry program uh, to provide job opportunities for people in reentry programs. And we are not able to have a formal program with Tri-C Culinary Institute because their program requires having a master chef. However, we are going to take people uh, enrolled in that program and provide work opportunities uh, for the Tri-C Culinary Institute students. Um, just as important, on the second floor will be affordable housing. And we want to develop the affordable housing as a linkage to provide housing for the men and women in reentry uh, or the other job training programs so that folks can live there and walk go right downstairs to work. Uh, we, at the end of the day, this is going to be about a $13.2 million investment in the neighborhood. And we hope that it will be a catalyst for renewing the Variety Village District, uh, much like Gordon Square, the opening of the Capitol Theater, uh, which is really a spark to our district and has brought a lot of new, new businesses. Uh, the city of Cleveland has made a tremendous investment uh, with committing funding for a parking lot on the north side of the street. That's not included in that $13.2 million. That's approximately another uh, 900000 in a new parking lot. A streetscape investment of over a million dollars. So uh, we are very hopeful that we'll have our financing in place and be able to close this fall and start construction soon thereafter. Excellent. Any questions from committee? I'll share one thing. As you mentioned, the reentry in Luther Metropolitan Ministries, this council uh, sponsored that initiative, the Social Entrepreneurship Program. Uh, so it's great to see it growing, expanding, and partnering with others such as yourself. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Well, again, if there are no, no further questions and uh, anything else that needs to be added, no, then I will make a motion that we move this resolution to the full council under uh, second reading suspension. Is that necessary? Uh, I believe it, with a with an item like this, it's just Before an extension of a previously approved uh, uh, loan. So I, I think that that's appropriate. appropriate. Under second reading suspension. Do we have a second? Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. Ayes have it. Uh, our resolution is approved. Again, thank you for coming out, Mr. Ramsey. We you. appreciate your hard work. Thank you very much. Thank you now. Any miscellaneous business? Ashley, has anyone signed in for public comment? No, no one has signed in. All right. If nothing else holds our attention, our committee is, our meeting is adjourned.